Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat. Yes, we're back on Sunday. Hallelujah. Um, I've really not got much to say, so without further ado, let's crack on with the news because there's no BattleBots this week and more on that in just a second. Yes, despite the threat of a mid-season break, it's not actually happening for more than a week on Discovery. BattleBots will return next week, August the 9th, um, for the rest of the series. However, the Science Channel are doing something really weird. Uh, this came from the Whiplash Facebook page, but it says the second half of the BattleBots 2019 season will return to Discovery starting Friday, August 9th, which is what I've just said. Meanwhile, on Science Channel, BattleBots will air episode 7 tonight at 9pm, which was last week, obviously, uh, but then take an extended break until the fall to air the remaining episodes of the season, which is just weird, which means we're not going to get any of our bonus fights, and anybody who can't watch Discovery Channel and relies on the Science Channel, I'm afraid you've got to wait until... Uh, the autumn or the fall in America so um that's a little bit sucky but it is what Discovery said was going to happen as well but for their channel as well so I'm not quite sure what's happened there who's made the decision just to carry on with the normal season after the week of Shark Week on Discovery but hey ho that's what's happening whenever it does reappear on your screens we know the first main event we will see is whiplash versus witch doctor which is going to be a really interesting matchup and one i'm very much looking forward to two high kinetic energy vertical spinners going head to head there's a new podcast available for robot fighting that covers just about everything and it's hosted by one of the presenters from robots live which is really awesome because he's a really good presenter um, it's called roboteer standby it's over on any good podcasting service that you like and use and all of that stuff and I'm doing lots of catching up because it's actually already up to episode 6 and I had no idea so go and give them some love as well. Meanwhile the ESE podcast have announced that they're going to Robo Nerd, which is exciting news. In a press release over on Facebook they apologise for the next episode being delayed by a week because uh, Mitch needs more time to edit and has been uh, bombarded with entries for Orcs Wars. Uh, however, in celebration of Simon Harrison's birthday, the team not only announced that they would be at Robo Nerd, but they have announced that they will be doing a live episode of the ESC podcast for everyone to come sit and watch, uh, which will be really exciting, and I'm very much looking forward to going and sitting and watching that. Uh, also confirmed to be in attendance at Robo Nerd from YouTube side of things are Jim Dramatic and Sam Elliott 64 and Anderson 9132 from the, the Robocast, so that is all very exciting and uh, yeah, lots of YouTubers going to be there this year. Now the last bit of podcast news is Mr Psycho 2 has a new episode of the Roasting Robots podcast up, but it's not like any of the other ones you've seen. Yes, it's the return of BattleBots Bingo and a mid-season update on how everybody's getting on. Now I'm not going to spoil how everyone's getting on here, I'm just going to show off their cards for you because... Uh, there's some really good stuff on there. I'm actually needing to look up how my season of BattleBots Bingo is going as well because uh, I don't think it's going well. But yes, make sure you go and check out the new Roasting Robots episode up now on the Mr. Psycho 2 channel. Another reminder for you now that over on the Extreme Robots Facebook and YouTube tonight at 7pm is the next episode of Extreme Robots Guildford. It's episode 3 and it premieres tonight at 7pm as I just said. Greenwich Mean Time, or at least British Summer Time. Now, several weeks ago, I mentioned a new game that's coming out called Robot Champions, which is going to be a really awesome robot fighting game, and there's uh, test footage from the pre-alpha up on the screen now. Uh, this game is now available in pre-alpha stage over on Steam for free, so you can go and check it out and give it a bit of a play and see what you think of it. It looks absolutely amazing, I regret not having Steam uh, because I can't play it, but hey ho, hopefully it'll come out on PC and I'll be able to play it then. They also have a Kickstarter coming up uh, in August that you need to go and give them some love and support on if you are uh, available to or if you are wanting to I suppose. Um, this is going to be on Tuesday the 20th of August and it is their launch of their Kickstarter so make sure you go and check that out. Now an event run by Robo Challenge has been featured on BBC Breakfast, rival news show now. 
It was featured on yesterday morning's show and one of the presenters, whose name escapes me, went and tried out fighting a robot and uh, yeah, it was a really good article, a really good feature. So if it is still available on BBC iPlayer, make sure you go and check it out. There is a bit of a clip up on screen now to give you an idea of the sort of thing they showed off. The event in question was an inter-schools competition hosted, as I said, by Robo Challenge with Spectre looking on in the corner very fearsomely. And it was all done in the Robo Challenge arena that they had for uh, the King of Watts featherweights last year. The event itself looked quite entertaining, really, with actual fires, actual robots doing actual damage, and it wasn't some of these sort of cardboard put together things and pushing each other around. They are genuine robots and they are genuinely fighting. It looked like a really good event, and um, I'm just sorry I missed it. I don't think it was anywhere near my part of the country, but yes, as I said, go and check out the full bit from BBC Breakfast if you can. Uh, it is over on BBC iPlayer. Lastly, though BattleBots isn't on this week, we do have a new episode of King of Bots coming out later today, probably, maybe, and possibly even tomorrow morning. It depends. They don't seem to have a fixed time that they upload episodes, or at least they didn't last week. And I thought last week's episode was absolutely amazing with all the international teams. It's sort of what I watch it for, but uh, I believe, and don't kill me if I'm wrong about this because I don't speak Chinese, I don't know what's actually happening in the show, but I believe this week is a bit of a redemption round for all the teams that have lost so far. So the return of Two Barbecue, uh, the return of, I believe it's called Ziang or something like that, the drum spinner that came second last year. I'll be honest, I'm just excited to see some of these awesome robots back. So King of Bots is out probably today or tomorrow. And that just about does it for this week. BattleBots back next week, review thing first next week and then into the news. Um, but it's been nice having a week where we've just gone for the news and just the news. Because there was a lot of news this week, so uh, because I had the opportunity to actually do the news this week properly. Just the news. Otherwise I think I might have cried and, and climbed under the arena and um, stayed there. Cool, right? See you next week. Bye bye.